What's up, everybody? Chris Card's back with another Through the Mail Monday. Our first of four returns coming to us from Reno, Nevada. And we have Gene Richards. Gene Richards played eight years in the big, seven with the Padres, his final year in 1984 with the Giants. He's the only other player on the Padres to wear number 19 besides Tony Gwynn. He wore that in his uh, 1978 season. In fact, on his 81 Fleer card, you will see him pictured in the number 19, which of course has been retired by the Padres. And there you go, guys. Lots of nice cards signed by Mr. Richards. Had a nice long career after he retired as a scout and as a manager, player development, all that stuff. He holds the modern day record for stolen bases as a rookie with 56 swipes in 1977. Had a gun for an arm, led the league in assists, outfield assists in 80 and 81. So good little player. Not sure why he only played nine years. Seems like it cut short, perhaps by injury, but a uh, good little player nonetheless for the Padres. And uh, I appreciate these cards. Uh, great signer. Thank you very much. On to the next. All right. Our next return comes to us from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And Burt Thiel is on the address label there. Burt Thiel passed away July 31st, just a few days ago on Friday. Bummed out to hear about that. He had a birthday on May 4th. That's right. May the 4th be with you. And he turned 94 years young. His granddaughter reached out to the community and said, hey, birthday cards would be great. Uh, let's." He loves signing stuff if you want to get anything signed. And, you know, that's music to a TTMer's ears. So um, I did not send him anything back then. I sent him a just a card, a birthday card, and I was trying to track down some real cards. He doesn't have any cards, so I did end up sending him the signature cards a couple months ago. So very glad to get him back. He inscribed them, Boston Braves, 1952 Uh the only surviving member of the Braves now, the Boston Braves, is Del Crandall. Uh, shout out to Ronnie, who reached out to me via email to uh, share with me the Burt Thiel information. Uh, really excited to uh, send to him. Once I realized I couldn't get any of his cards, I sent his signature cards, and they came out great. He only had four starts in the bigs. He didn't have a start in the big. He was a reliever. He was a minor league starting pitcher. Very good, but they did not need any starting pitchers, so he was a reliever, and he stated in an interview given just a couple months ago that learning how to be a reliever at the major league level with all the timing and having to go on back-to-back -back days, he said that was not a good place to learn, and he um, he was not put in a good position to have success, so kind of a bum deal. Back then, major league teams could hang on to their players indefinitely. They could spend their entire career in the minors and really have no say, no matter how good they were, so... Kind of a raw deal that Bert Thiel got, but went on 30 years afterwards to have a coaching career, scouting career, had uh, many wonderful moments in pro ball after that. Upon retiring, opened up a bar called Bert's 10th Inning in Marion, Wisconsin, ran that for 10 years, and that is all the information I have on Bert Thiel. That's quite a lot of it. So there you guys go. There's a guy who only started uh, or only played in four games in his major league career, and uh, hopefully, um, well, now you know who he is. Thank you, Mr. Thiel. Rest in peace, my friend. This one comes to us from Cincinnati, Ohio. And let's see who we've got back for our third return. We have a blank index card. And Dave Parker. Dave Parker, man. Good player, man. 19-year career. 11 years with Pittsburgh. Uh, several years with Cincinnati. And, of course, uh, couple with Oakland. He finished out his career in uh, Toronto in 1991. Really nice. Signed my 84 tops, 74 tops, and my 89 upper deck. That's where I could get all three sets signed in one fail swoop. Very cool. Seven-time All-Star, two-time World Series champion, 1978 National League MVP, two-time batting champ, three-time gold glove. First player to earn a million dollars a year playing ball. What can you say? Dave Parker does charge for his signature ten dollars per card there you have it and um he was diagnosed in 2013 with parkinson's disease and he's got a foundation he runs uh he contributes to as far as trying to find a cure for parkinson's disease so worthy effort on his part hopefully um we can knock that one out sooner rather than later and uh that's it guys dave parker that is a decent return cards looked great on to the next all right, gang, our last of four returns today comes to us from Texas. And no surprise, right there in the address label, Eddie Robinson. Eddie Robinson, the oldest living player in the game. He'll turn 100 in December. He charges $10 per card. 
and I do believe I sent him four cards. I sent him a Redman card, which uh, the Redman cards are pretty sweet. And I've got an index card that says Go Trump on it with quotes. So it appears Eddie Robinson is a Trump fan. He is a MAGA hat wearer. And look at that. Eddie Robinson, four-time All-Star. He played in 1942 with the Indians. 1942. 43, 44, 45. He was in the military. Played on that um, Naval World Series. If you guys want to look that up, that's pretty sweet. And here is a reprint. Thankfully, not an original because he inscribed it. Trump 2020. Making his feelings known. And uh, he'll probably be around to, uh, to vote, I guess. And there's a couple more more vintage cards signed nicely by Eddie. Really good signature for a guy that's pushing 100. And i um, really happy to get these back. An interesting return from Mr. Robinson. I like how he signs his I. He dots his I with an O as opposed to just a dot. And uh, this four-time All-Star um, played for Cleveland, the Yankees, the White Sox. Uh, really good career. And uh, that's it. Eddie Robinson, uh, he's a MAGA, MAGA guy. So there you have it, guys. That is it for Through the Mail Monday, number 81 in the books. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope everyone enjoyed this week's returns. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this week's uh, returns. And, of course, like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'd really appreciate it. We do this every single Monday and would love to have you in our future TTMM videos. That'd be awesome, sweet, and um, all that. So... Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope everyone uh, is enjoying the baseball season so far. The Mets, uh, my team, uh, not doing that good. But it's a long season. No, wait, it's not a long season. It's, it's not long at all. So got like 50 games to go already. So um, we're six of the way through it. So not good. Hopefully your teams are doing much better. And um, and, and, and if you're a Met fan, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm sorry this happened to you. Yeah, it's a tough road to hoe. So thanks guys for watching. I appreciate you all and I will see you again later. See ya.